Welcome to the official Autodesk Inventor podcast. My name is Garen Gardner. I'm an Inventor product manager, and this is episode number 42. Uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about DWG files. You know, I get off. I, I often get questions around how do I get data from AutoCAD to Inventor, Inventor to AutoCAD. You know, you may have 3D models in AutoCAD that you want to bring into Inventor, or 3D models in Inventor you want to get into AutoCAD. There's some easy ways to do that. In fact, there are ways that you probably aren't aware of that uh, that are in the product. And then also, how do I do it with 2D data? So there are a couple of things that we'll do. I'm going to start off. You'll notice here in AutoCAD, I have a 3D model. This is just a, a little clevis, and we want to be able to open this up in Inventor. Now, I know many of you, uh, if you've if you've done this in the past, you've probably saved this out as an SAT file because you weren't aware that Inventor can actually open up a 3D DWG file. So I'm going to close out of this file. That's something that uh, we want to make a bit easier for you guys to be able to discover some of these things. But I'm going to start off by going out to that DWG file, go into Options, and I'm going to choose Import. So in the Import, you know the, the Open will allow me to open it and view it. I can't really do anything with it. So I, by 90% of the time, I'm doing an Import, which allows me to bring it in locally and do something with it. So I choose import and then open and then here, you know, it's by default it, it knows it's an AutoCAD, AutoCAD mechanical file. I can choose configurations if I've pre-saved configurations. You know, sometimes I'll have like a 2D and a 3D configuration and I can see that file. Um, from here we want to just import it. So I'm going to choose a 3D solid um, and I can, if there are multiple files, multiple bodies that I want to convert it to a single body, I can do that or not it'll just have them individual parts instead of a, a single part file and then I can make sure that it's choosing a part file here from there I just hit finish and it's gonna go out look at that 3D DWG file and bring in the information into Inventor in fact it created two part files I don't really need one of them I'm just gonna close the first one and you'll notice that I have this clevis file so now it's fully in Inventor and I can do things like if I wanna deburr that edge you'll notice that I can deburr it, um, you know, we can go over to the other side, do much the same thing. So I can add inventor features, shell it, fill it, you know, do those kinds of things, and then and leverage that. Now, what if I wanted to share this with somebody that didn't have inventor that had AutoCAD? You know, instead of saving this out as an SAT file, one of the things you can do is go into your environment underneath AEC Exchange, and this is where you'll find Save As DWG Solid. This is something that probably in the future will be moved to export, but for right now, underneath AC Exchange, there's a save as DWG solid. So instead of having to save it as an SAT file, you can choose what file format you want it to go out as. And then I'm just going to choose where I want to save this. So we'll just go to a temp directory. We'll name it Clevis2, and we'll save it. So now I can go over to AutoCAD, and I can open up that Clevis2 file. open it and then we'll just do a kind of a zoom all to see that and we can see now that we have our chamfers in there that we put in place in Inventor. So we were easily able to go from Inventor or from AutoCAD to Inventor with a solid as a, a native DWG and then from Inventor to AutoCAD saving out a 3D DWG that AutoCAD can easily open up. So that makes it very easy to pass data back and forth. But what about going uh, what about if you have some geometry, some 2D geometry in AutoCAD that you want to turn into a 3D part? So in this case, you have a little bracket. It's got a groove, and you want to be able to turn this into a 3D model. So I'm just going to go over to Inventor. In fact, uh, quickly, let me go back to that drawing. Uh, there are a couple ways of going about this. I may want to, if I have AutoCAD, it's open, and I, I want to just do a copy. You know, I can go into my clipboard, do a copy here, come over to Inventor, and let's uh, let's just create a new part file. And I'm just going to paste, you know, I can right-click and paste. You can also do a right-click paste options if you want, if there are AutoCAD blocks and you want to, you know, make some changes there. But I'm just going to insert this geometry. And then I can easily start extruding this. You know, these are parametric values, so I could change these parametric values and update my geometry. So there are a number of things you can do there, but what if you don't have AutoCAD or it's not open? Let's, uh, let's close out of this, and I'm going to create yet another new part. 
In fact, I'm not even doing that. Uh, let's let's close out of that altogether. I'm going to open up a DWG file. So let's just go down to that DWG. We'll go to Options, Import, and I'm going to open it up. So this is this is a second way of going about it. Uh, I'm going to go through much the same same process as we did with the 3D geometry and I have a couple of different options. You know, I may want to import this to a drawing, I may want to import it into a model, I may want to turn some of these layers off so you'll notice that there's a lot of stuff that I don't really care to see. So I'm just going to turn all that stuff off. I don't really need a solid but I do want it to go to a part although I could specify other destinations like a, a, a drawing or a title block. I want to constrain endpoints and I want to apply a geometric constraint, so vertical, horizontal, and then make sure the endpoints that touch get a coincident constraint. And then from here, you can also tell it if there are blocks in there that you want to convert those AutoCAD blocks to inventor blocks for sketching, so you can have sketch blocks. Um, so from here, I'm just going to.